There's a lot of talk these days about using fabric pots. And this summer I decided to run some tests and see if some of the claims are true. In this video, I'm going to do a pros and cons analysis of using cloth bags with plastic pots. Which one is better? And are some of the claims true? Step one is to get the containers. Now I have lots of black plastic pots, but I didn't have any cloth ones, so I went out and got some from Amazon. And I picked up these Vivosun pots. They're five gallons, which is a decent size for growing things. And they seem to be pretty good. I'm not endorsing that product, but I didn't find anything wrong with it either. When you get the bag, they're all folded up. And you just open them up, give them a bit of a shake, and you're, you're ready to go. Pretty easy to use. Nice thing about these too is they have handles on the side. And I think that's important. To run this experiment, I made up some soil that was about 50% of my native soil and about 50% of a very heavily decomposed wood chip material. It really looked more like peat moss than wood chips. I made a big pile and mixed it up to ensure that every pot got exactly the same kind of soil. Now these pots aren't exactly the same size. So to make this experiment a little more equal, I took the same amount of soil and put it in both pots. In the case of the cloth pot, the soil level is about here. In the plastic pots, the soil level is here. Now it was higher when I filled them, but it settled over the summer. So both pots now have identical soil, and I made three of these and three of these, so I have some variation. I then planted bush beans in all six pots. Now that part of the experiment was a bit of a disaster. Some of those bush beans didn't sprout, and the ones that did all got eaten by rabbits. They came in one night and just wiped me out. I think I have one bush bean plant left. So I just left the pots for the summer, and instead of vegetables, I'm growing weeds in these pots. It doesn't really matter for the experiment that I'm going to test here, as long as I have some plants growing in both. Before I continue, let me be clear about what I'm comparing here. I'm comparing cloth pots to plastic pots. I'm not looking at the benefits of cloth versus growing in the ground. That's a different comparison. I just want to know which of these pots work better and what are the pros and cons of these pots. So let's have a look at some of the pros that other people claim for cloth pots. One of the main ones is that the soil is cooler in cloth pots than in plastic. They say that the sun heats up the black plastic and the soil in here is too warm for plants. Now one thing is true, plants like to have cool temperatures at their roots. They grow better that way. In fact, that's one of the problems with any containers. The soil really gets too hot in most climates. So if these pots were cooler, that would be a good thing. And the reason it's claimed that they're cooler is that this side is porous. It allows water to evaporate from the side. Plastic doesn't do that. In this pot, we get evaporation from the top through the plants and a little bit from the holes in the bottom. But in this pot, the fiber pot, we get evaporation all around the outside and out the top. Evaporation will cool soil. So there's a lot of logic there, but what's very interesting is I looked at dozens of websites. Not one ever mentioned how much cooler this one is compared to this one. No one has data. They're just copying each other and saying, hey, that's a good benefit. Well, as you know, Garden Mist does more than that. We're going to actually measure that. So what I did last week is I took out a thermometer and I measured both pots. In fact, I measured all six and I measured the ambient temperature, which is the temperature in the air around here. And I did that on several days. They were all warm days, but sometimes they were cloudy. Sometimes they were sunny, sometimes in the morning, sometimes in the afternoon. I wanted to get a good average to see what it comes out as. Are you ready for the results? I found very little difference between plastic and fabric. Most days they were pretty much the same. A couple days, the cloth pot was maybe one degree centigrade cooler. That's not really enough to make a difference here. If I'm really concerned about the temperature of the soil in here, I can water a little more 
Or I can just put a board in front of the pots here so the sun doesn't hit them. I solved the problem. But the main point is cloth pots are not really any cooler than plastic. Another claim for cloth pots is that they can't get as wet. They drain better. Well, what happens when you water this pot is that water runs down, runs out the bottom, and some of it does run out the side. So it's as if you have lots of little holes here for drainage. And so these pots have very good drainage. But so do these pots. These pots have big holes in the bottom. It's really impossible to overwater these. Now, it is quite possible to water too often, but that's a different problem. What we're talking about here is that I go out in the garden, I water these. Can I give them too much water in that setting? And the answer is no. Both of these pots drain equally well. That's not a benefit of cloth pots. Cloth pots are more versatile. They're easier to move. And that's partially correct. They do have handles. They're easy to lift. Five gallons is pretty easy to move around. Here I don't have handles, but is that really that much harder to move? I don't think so. Another claim for cloth pots is that they're easier to store. And that is partially true. Now you have to get them at the end of the season, empty them out, fold them up. They don't take much space, but what about plastic? Well, they take a bit more space, but not a whole lot more space. I've got eight pots here and it's in a space like this. Another claim that's made for cloth pots is that they warm up faster in spring. Now to me, that seems like a contradiction. In the summer, they're cooler because they evaporate a lot, but in spring, they warm up. Like, how does that work? When you're growing in containers, warming up in spring really isn't a big issue. If I want warm soil in here, I just take my soil and spread it out, let the sun heat it, then fill the pots. So I don't see warming up in spring a big issue in either case. It is important when you're growing in the ground, but not in containers. Well, what about the pros of plastic? There must be some benefits to it. One of those is durability. These cloth pots are good for about three years. Just looking on the internet and seeing what people say, usually after three years, they're falling apart and they replace them. So now I have that extra cost. These plastic pots I've used for 10 years and they're still going strong. Much better durability with plastic. What about the cost? Well, these aren't too expensive. If you don't have any pots and you have to go and buy them, plastic can be just as expensive as the cloth pots. You have to shop around and see where you get a deal. But all my pots come from plants that I purchased. If you have some gardening friends, just tell me you want some large, big pots. And they'll be glad to recycle them through you. So all my plastic is free, and these cost me money. What about the environment? Which one is better for the environment? Everybody knows that we should use less plastic, and a lot of people are promoting other options. But you have to take a deep dive into things to really understand the issues. If I use this for 10 years and I only use this for three years, I'm going to use three of these in the time I use one of these. So it's better for the environment to use the one plastic. The other issue is that some of these cloth bags are actually made out of plastic. Now, some of them claim to be compostable, but that material is not very decompostable. If you put it on your compost pile, it's still going to be there next year. When something is claimed to be compostable, it means something different than what gardeners are thinking about. It can take several years to decompose this, or it might require very high temperatures. Not all cloth pots are any better for the environment than plastic. What about watering? Well, what you find is that this pot dries more quickly. That's not a surprise because one of the advertised benefits of these cloth bags is that they evaporate out the side. So you have a lot more evaporation here than you do here. So this pot stays moist longer, which means plastic pots need to be watered less often, less work for you, and you use less drinking water to do that. That's better for the environment. There's one more benefit of cloth bags that I'd like to have a look at. And that is the idea that it prunes the roots, making healthier root systems in these pots. So what happens to roots in a plastic pot? 
they grow out to the edge they can't grow any farther so they start going around and around in a circle and you get circling roots you get this root ball with all the roots on the outside now when we're growing trees that's a real problem because trees will keep those roots for many many years and these circling roots are not good for it even when you put that tree in the ground those roots stay in that formation and they can actually choke out the tree it is a problem for trees and people have been using cloth bags to stop that but the question we have to ask is there any benefit for the home gardener most of you are growing vegetables in these things these are annuals maybe a few perennials i want to compare the root systems of these two pots and see if there's any difference in theory the cloth pot will have all its roots in the center and have no circling roots the plastic pot on the other hand will have a lot of circling roots see what we got I can see some roots in here, but there's very few around the edge. I don't see any roots in the bottom and no real roots along the edge here. The one that came from the plastic pot is starting to show some roots around the outside. And you can certainly see roots here and they're starting to form along this rim. That's usually where the circling roots start. So it does appear as if the plastic pot is going to end up having circular roots and maybe the cloth pot has fewer or maybe none at all. But here's the point that I'm trying to make. If you're only going to grow vegetables in these pots for a few months, this is not an issue. If you're going to grow things in here for several years, well, it's better not to have circling roots. But for a tomato, it really doesn't make any difference. The benefit of cloth bags controlling circling roots is a valid benefit, but for most gardeners, it isn't important because you're only growing annual plants. So plastic or cloth, which is the better option? If you go through the pros and cons of these two options, I don't really see a lot of difference between them. If you can get a hold of free plastic pots of a large enough size, use those. If you don't have anything and you have to buy some, I still think plastic is better. You have to water less often, less work for you, and less stress on the plants. I don't buy the benefit of pruning roots, and that's the main benefit of cloth pots. If you're growing trees, or you're going to grow something in here for several years, they may be a good option. I hope that helps you make a selection.